What's going on, YouTube? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Is that how it goes? Whatever the case, Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> and uh, Happy New Year, just in case I don't get this video uploaded before the New Year. But, I mean, it's about to be 2023, y'all. So, you know what that means. It's time to start trapping. Trapping ain't dead. Y'all boys just scared. But... <laughs> We out here by the pond. Um, when I was back here duck hunting the other day, I went over by the creek, and it's a little spot right here where the otters like to cross from the creek to the pond. They've been coming in here and eating the fish that I've been stocking. I mean, at this point, I'm not sure how many fish are still in this pond, but the otters are still coming in here. It's a little spot that um, it's a, a otter toilet over there. Otter poop everywhere, so I, I know they still back in here. I know last season I came back here and on Christmas and it was pretty warm. I had on like just a regular t-shirt, no layers. But today it is freezing. It's like 20 something degrees right now. But anyway, um, when I came back here last year, I set these traps out and these traps, they were only here for a couple days and we caught an otter. But right after that, nothing else. And I, I think I had these traps sitting out here for almost two months. We only caught that one otter. So what I'm going to do this go around, I'm going to set out just four traps. I'm going to put two Connor Bear 330s and I'm going to put two drowning sets. I believe I got a bridge of number five and an MB750, I believe. But I'm just going to set these four traps out, maybe let them sit for two or three weeks. And if we don't catch anything, I'm going to just move them to another spot. Because uh, w one of my neighbors, my neighbor who actually helped weld these drowning rods for me, he texted me like just a couple days ago and he said that he's been having an otter issue at his pond. So I'm gonna go over there and try to help him see if we can't catch some otters over there as well. But I'm gonna hop out here in just a second and show y'all what I got going on. I'm gonna show you some of the sign so you can see where these otters and beavers have been traveling and then we gonna throw out four sets real quick. So this is probably gonna be a quick video. But um, I think that's about it. Let me go ahead and hop out and show y'all what's going on and we're going to get this stuff set. All right, y'all. Let me show y'all what we got going on. So right here, the beavers have been basically marking their territory, I'm pretty sure. They've been putting caster and stuff right here. And I, I had traps set right here last year for, I mean, literally like two months and we never caught one. So I don't think I'm going to put a, a trap right here this go around. But it's another spot over here. I'm going to show you where they've been doing some work as well. You see some of those. I'm pretty sure the beavers put those sticks right there. But right here, there was like, there was a hole right here. And the beavers, it looked like, it looks like they done patched it up for whatever reason. But I can, I can see where they are still like coming in right here. So I think I'm going to try to block this spot off just a little bit and put a 330 right here somewhere. That also looks like it would be a perfect spot for a drowning set, but I think I'm gonna put the um the drowning sets by the creek because I mean th this is the pond right here. But I'm gonna put a 330 right there, and I'm gonna put some caster and stuff up on this little mound right here. I'm gonna make like a little mound, put some mud right there, and uh, hopefully we'll get lucky and catch one right now. But before we do any of that, I'm gonna come over here with the head trimmer and cut this because I'm uh I'm gonna have to walk through here every day to check these traps and water moccasins. That's the only other thing I need to say. Like this spot right here, notorious for water moccasins being back in here. I mean, last year when I was trapping, it was December and January and I still was seeing them. Which granted, it was a little warmer then, but you know, I think next week it's gonna get back into the 70s. So that is no bueno. <laughs> We are gonna come back in here with them hedge trimmers and I'm gonna just cut some of this stuff so I can see where I'm stepping. You know what I'm saying? Now over here is where the outer toilet is. I mean, do y'all see that? That's crazy. I mean, it's a little older, but all those fish scales and crawfish shells, that's how you know it's otters back in here. And it's a ton of it. Like the more I look around, I'm seeing more and more of it. Fish scales and uh, 
crawfish shells. But apparently they crossing from right here, hopping in the pond. So I think I'm just gonna put one drowning set like right here. I know last year I came back here, man, I had put like, I put a trap right there, trap right here, trap right there. And I think that was overkill. So this go around, I'm just gonna put one drown, drowning set right here. I'm probably gonna have to come and uh, cut some of those roots because I'm gonna angle the rod going that way. So it looks pretty deep over there. And uh, we're gonna put a bridge number five or either MB750 right here. And I'm gonna show you one more spot and then I'm gonna get started. Let's try to wrap this up quick and get out of here because it is Christmas. But right here, this is like another spot where I can tell they are crossing and going into the pond. I mean, these little slides like this, these are always really good spots to set. I mean, that almost looks perfect to put like a drowning set right there or either a conner bear, like right at the little opening right there. Man, that'll probably work perfect. And I'm, I'm thinking of putting my conner bear over here. It's another little spot, but I mean, that, the more I'm looking at that, that almost looks perfect. Like I'm pretty sure if that corner bell was there and I blended it in, they would try to slide right through it. And we would have them. I think I'm going to put drowning set right here. Because this is where we caught the otter last year. It's kind of deep right there in the creek. And uh, I'm pretty sure that would be a good spot. Well, I'm just that windstorm knocked this tree down. I think this one's been dead for a minute anyway. But right here, this is another spot where they like to cross a lot. And I know the beavers are still back in here. I've been getting a ton of pictures of uh, beavers actually going all the way over to my deer feeder, which is like on the other side of the woods over here. But the, the beavers have literally, they've been going to the feeder and eating my corn, the deer corn. But this is another spot that I know they like to cross. This is where I caught that huge beaver maybe like two years ago. So, I mean, that, that's a perfect spot for a drowning set as well, but I'm probably gonna put a 330 right there because that's how I caught the beaver last time. So, let me go ahead and get started. I think I can set all of this without having to, um put my waders on, but I do have them just in case I need them. But I'm pretty sure we can get away without having to put them on. So let's get started. So, all right, y'all. I didn't cut this stuff down so we won't run into any water moccasins without seeing them. And uh, I want to show y'all this just in case you're new here or new to any of this trapping stuff. So this is where I'm gonna put a drowning set. And this right here is a drowning rod. This is a drowning lock. So what we gonna do, we gonna take this foothold trap right here. And we gonna take this J hook and we gonna slide it through this hole right here on the drowning lock. And I'm gonna take pliers and squeeze it so that it won't come loose. And once the animal steps in this trap, we hoping it's gonna be an otter. They will try to swim away and they gonna pull the trap and it's locked down into the creek. And when they try to pull it up, they are gonna be stuck and then it's gonna drown them right there in the creek. So that's how they work. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this one together so I can go ahead and put it in the creek. Then I'm gonna bounce over, do the other drowning set. I'm gonna do it right over there. And um, after that, I'll go back and do the two 330s. We're gonna have one over here and one over there. So I can knock out these uh, drowning sets a little quicker than the 330 sets. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do those right now. And then we can get out of here. All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and set this trap. Uh, um, I've already attached the trap onto the drowning rod. So now I just gotta figure exactly where I'm gonna place the rod to where everything lines up how I need it to. And then we will set the trap and put it right here at the base of this slide where I can tell they coming in and out at. And once they're set, I'll, uh, I'm gonna record where I'm putting the different baits, well, the different lures, because I have 
we're gonna use two otter lures and two beaver lures so after i set these i'm gonna record so i know where i put each lure so i can see which one works out the best for me but let me see if i can't figure exactly where i want to put this this rod there's a couple logs down here that look like they're gonna make this aggravating more aggravating than it should be Trying to see if I'm gonna try to slide the rod uh, up under one. Let me see. That gonna work. Just pull it back. Just get. All right. So. I think I got in a good spot. That was a struggle. But let me go ahead and try to set this trap right quick. These traps right here are ridiculous, y'all. Take a lot of strength to set them. I usually gotta use my feet. I see people like Trapper J, they can set these things with their hands. I just can't do it, man. My hands can't do it. Gotta use my feet. All right. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was the night lapse that just set. That means that trap is ready to fire. Oh. Handle it real careful. So I'm gonna just place it right here where I want it to go. And then I'm gonna put a stake through the other end of this trap. So, I mean, through this rod, so the trap won't go anywhere. And we should be good to go. Matter of fact, let me put that stake in there first to hold that down. Then I can put the trap where I want it. Let me see. Trying to get this thing just right. want to be as level as possible. All right, now we just take some leaves and just cover up the other end of uh, the stake right here. Matter of fact, I can take some of this mud right here, cover that up too. Leaves and mud. Yep, that trap feels solid. <sighs> All right, y'all. So, right here, we got another crossover right here coming out the creek where the beavers are going right into the pond. And um, I'm pretty sure y'all can tell they've been chewing on a bunch of trees that's around here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but a bunch of the trees that's around here, they've been chewing on them. They've been chopping some down, actually. But I mean, right here, this is a huge crossover where you can clearly tell that they've been going back and forth. So we're going to set this Connor Bear trap right here, which this is a Duke 330. Get this safety off of here. This thing's stuck. I'll try to show you all how it works. So this trap right here is extremely heavy duty. And um, I got these setters right here i'll show you how they work but basically you're gonna compress these two huge springs on the side and then you're gonna like pull the trap 
and set this trigger right here. So what you want to happen is when the beaver goes to come through this trap, beaver, otter, or whatever, they're going to hit this trigger right here and it's going to make the trap slam shut and it's going to catch them by the neck. Hopefully it's going to break the neck and kill them instantly. And they'll be waiting on us right here in the creek. But this trap is extremely dangerous and it has uh, safeties on it. So when you can press these springs, you can put the safeties on it until you get the trap good and stable to where you want it. Then you can take those safeties off and uh, I'll put some lure right here. I'll probably use something that's got like the uh, smell of caster from another beaver because they, they're real territorial. So if one beaver smells that another one has been back here or they think another one has been back in here, hopefully they'll want to come right here and I'll have this blocked off. And when they go to come through this trap, it's going to catch them. So let me get to working on this thing. I hope y'all can be able to see it too good. But I see some people like uh, it's a guy named Trapper J and another guy called the 330 Maniac. They can set these traps with their hands and I just don't understand it. Because <laughs> these traps are ridiculous. I don't see how they do it with only their hands. I got to use these settings right here. I'm not sure if y'all can see me. But... Woo. Oh, shoot. See? Couldn't even get that with the setters just being. And these guys be doing it with just a hand. Safety on. Safety, safety on. Got a bunch of dirt up in that one. That's why it was so hard to get it on there. But there we go. So, this trap is almost ready to go right now. You see, I got these safeties on here. It's holding those springs shut. Y'all see that? So, the next thing you do, which this takes some force as well, you got to put those uh, springs right in the middle of the trap. Make sure my trigger is free. And then you're going to compress the trap some more. Like so. Let me slide those triggers back. Why are we doing this? And see, like that, that trap is ready to go. So now we're gonna just set it in there exactly where we want it. I might actually put it in upside down because it might look more open to the beaver to want to try to get through here. So I'm probably gonna leave it like that. Sometimes I like to compress these so it just looks like a line and they'll they'll think they can just push it down and come through it but obviously that's gonna set the trap off and as much compression much force as these things apply it's gonna break the beaver's neck instantly so let me go ahead get this thing set down in here just how I want and we will go from there I'm probably going to take a lot of sticks and block this off too. But I'll show y'all that in just a second. Alright, so we're about to set this trap right here. And beavers have a tendency to want to go under rather than over. So we're going to have this trap setting in, in the water like right here. And I'm going to use some sticks like so. We're going to put them through the eyes of this trap to help like stabilize it here. 
And then I'm gonna take something and maybe just lay across the top of this. So when the beavers come to try to cross over right here, they gonna see all this stuff in the way and they gonna wanna try to dive under this log right here, this stick, and hopefully they'll wanna come right through here. So let me put this in place. I'm gonna put these sticks in here to get it good and steady. And then I'll take the safeties off and we'll be done y'all. I'll just go back and put some lure at all four traps and we're gonna be out of here. But let me try to get this in here. Good and solid. See, I might try to move this thing up here some more. I don't know if I set it up this time up before. It should work. And it real talk, it'll probably work even better if I put it right here somewhere. Yeah, we're probably gonna put it right there and try to block this stuff off so they'll try to dive under it. Right now I'm taking my safeties off. So I think the trap looks pretty good about where we got it. All right, so right now we're just taking mud, taking it up right here. Cause that's how beavers, they'll, they'll mark the territory. They'll take a bunch of mud and put cast on it. So. We're just packing some mud up right here. And then I'm gonna go and get some lure and put it on top of that. So, that one should be good to go. I got one more trap to set. And then I will catch up with y'all when I'm putting this lure out. And we'll be done for today. All right, y'all. So, what we got right here is at 3.30. And hopefully that little log that I got on top, hopefully that thing shouldn't float away unless um, it rains and then the creek rises. But I think it'll be okay. But anyway, this is the lure that I used at this spot. This is Dobbins Backbreaker Beaver Lure. You see, it says it's very heavy on the caster, which that usually brings them on in since they're so territorial. So I just wanted to make sure I show which lure was where so I would remember it because when you set so many traps, you will never remember what you put where. But, all right, it's the first spot, 3.30. Dobbins, back broker. All right. Let's head over here to trap number two. This is the otter drowning set. This is where I caught the otter last year. And y'all see, it. got the trap right there. Waiting on him. Drowning rod goes into the creek bed out there, which is pretty deep out there. So it's definitely going to drown. And we have this Hall Baker's Otter Lure. Make sure I remember that. The Hall Baker's Otter Lure on this set right here. So going over to the next otter set. And these next two sets, I used some lure that a guy recommended on my page. Shout out to you if you see this video. <laughs> I took your recommendation, sir. And uh, I got this Dunlap Otter Lure, which you put right here for this set. And the adrenaline rod goes out there. 
up under those logs. And I'm pretty sure that's deep enough to drown them. This part I'm a little nervous about, but I think if they, if it's an otter, it'll definitely drown them if he goes under those logs. But if it's a beaver, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about that, but we'll see. And last year, I had so many traps right here till, you know, I, I was more completely more, how should I say this? I was more new to this thing, should I say? And I had way too many traps right here. So I'm pretty sure that's why we didn't catch anything on this spot. So right now, this is way more subtle. Got one trap below the water. And I just put one stick right here to try to deter them from wanting to come up in that spot. But I'm trying to set right there. Dunlap's out of lure. Now, going over to our last set, which I also use some gun laps lure at it. And this is uh, another spot for the beavers. You see, I got the 330 right there. And then I stacked up a bunch of mud and stuff right here and put the lure right there. And we used this gun laps big pile beaver lure which is surprising but this stuff smells really good like most of the beaver lure they like the caster it has a sweet smell to it and for in fact they actually say that caster is used to make vanilla extract so if you like desserts you're eating something from a beaver <laughs> most people don't know that but yeah so at this spot which this is next to the pond we got this big pile of beaver lure from Dunlap. And I think that's about it. I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully my truck, hopefully my truck cranks because it's freezing cold out here. If you got a diesel, you know how they act when it's cold. So hopefully this thing gonna crank. All right, y'all. I think that's a wrap on this one. Um, I'll be back out here to check the traps tomorrow and every day after that. So. Definitely keep y'all updated on if we catch anything and how it's going. And uh, in the meantime, y'all can like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So that way you'll be notified when I post some more content. And if you're a trapper or you interested, or if you're interested in some of my merch, you can go to www.bloodsweatinggears87. And I got some trapaholic tees. I got trapping eight dead tees. I'm probably gonna have some hoodies up on there before too long. So y'all can definitely check that out. That really helps support the page. But um, other than that, I think that's it. I'm gonna go put some corn out in my feeder. Deer season ends in a week. So we about to really go hard with this trapping thing. And uh, I keep y'all updated on all of that and how it's going. So other than that, I think that's it. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll let y'all later. Peace.